Hello everyone, I am Wombird. In this video, I've got a guide for Interchange. We're going to be looking at all the hidden stashes on Interchange. There's 19 hidden stash locations, and I'm going to give you enough detail so that you can easily find every single one of those hidden stashes. If you're struggling to find some in particular, find the relevant stash shown on the map right now, scrub through the chapters, get to that stash, and I guarantee you, you're going to find it easy to find them after you've seen this video. So we're starting off here in front of the Emacom checkpoint. We're going to turn around 180 degrees. And we're going to let, look for a set of rocks just off the road in some trees. We're going to head straight for those rocks. Once we find these rocks, pretty self-explanatory. In front of the biggest one, we have the barrel stash. So from this stash here, we turn left 90 degrees. We've got the corner of the mall there, and that is Ollie ollie logistics in this side of the mall so we're going to turn towards the back wall i'm going to head over towards the back wall once we've crossed the road and we got to this pylon rather than going all the way back i'm going to turn i'm going to face the fence i'm going to turn 90 degrees so i'm facing into it into the trees and we're going to start running in this direction I'm going to try and stay as straight as possible. And eventually you should get to this area here. That's like a fire pit with some sleeping bags. We got some ammo uh, containers here. And we've got uh, another set of ammo containers here. Now there's two stashes directly here. I'm going to show you this one on the right hand side first. So come to this um, kind of empty ammo container area with the cloth above it. Uh, you can go around either side, but the stash is behind it. Here it is. So you can go around either side to reach that stash. Uh, just couldn't kind of come behind it and then turn to the right or the left, depending on which side you are, to find that stash. And the other is in the opposite corner behind the other ammo stash container area. So if you just come around the back of that, it's a little bit further away, but it's easier to spot because it's a blue barrel cache. And there you have two stashes in the same location. I'm going to show you a couple of ways to get to that if you're not coming from the direction that, that we made. If you're running directly along the back wall in the same direction that we were running. If you're running directly along the back wall same direction we were running you'll get to this section here that sticks out okay so if you look down this back fence this area here is the only bit that sticks out okay so when you hit this area here you know you're in the right spot so just follow the edge and then kind of get in line with it and point off into the distance and you should run and as you go in you'll be able to pick out those ammo containers and if you're really struggling, you know, you should be able to pick out the little area. And what's going to happen is you're almost going to come right by the ammo container and that blue barrel stash right there. Okay, so we ran from up there where the kind of fence juts out. Another way to find the stash. If you're coming from the underground location you're coming out come across to this pillar on the left hand side and you should just be able to make out the uh the ammo container i'm gonna give you a bearing on this one so let me just check i'm pointing in the right place so the bearing is 125 degrees so if you sit yourself next to that pillar there Get out your compass, you turn 125 degrees. There we go, on the north part of that compass. And you start running, you should come directly to those ammo containers. Okay, so here's the first one, with the stash to our left. And there's the second one with the stash just behind it. 
Okay, the final way to find this stash, if you're coming from the opposite direction completely... You can be running along this sort of dip in the ground. And what will happen is the, the fence will curve off to the left on a bend in the road. When it does that, you want to you wanna keep going straight. Okay? So you've got the fence to your left there. It curves off. You want to keep going straight. And as you can see, we run directly into this area with the ammo container, the stash behind this one, right here, and the stash behind this one on the right as well. So hopefully that's enough ways to find this stash and you're not going to have a problem finding it, or these two stashes. Okay, so we're off to the next ones now. We're going to carry on the same route that we had been going, and I'm going to kind of head along the back wall. Buffle bag just to loot there, in case you want it. So, I've made my way up to the back wall. You are a little bit easy to see up here, so you might not want to take this exact route. You can also run along that dip in the ground, but I'm going to show you this because it's the easiest way to find it. Run along this back wall. You should get to a set of bushes. These bushes right in front of me. Now you'll notice that it doesn't obstruct the path along the wall. So just take note of that and we'll come on to the reason why in a moment. So keep going. You'll get to a second set of bushes right here. And notice these bushes obstruct the path through the wall. Okay? So when you get to these bushes... Just go through them, and then once you've gone through them, immediately turn right 90 degrees. And you should be able to see the stash. If you just walk forward a little bit in the next set of bushes, you will see the stash. There's another way to... Um, if, if you're coming from the opposite direction, sorry, it's, it's exactly the same. Just run along this back wall until you get to a set of bushes that obstructs your path. And obviously, if you run in this direction, you don't go through them. You just turn left and make your way to the stash. Now, another way to find this stash, if you're running along the, the fence at the bottom and the dip, which is probably a more stealthy way of doing it, you've got... You've got these um, double lampposts here in the car park, just here. One of the best ways i found is to get this lamppost here to line up in the centre of that with the edge of the mall. Can you see that? The edge of the mall in between those two lampposts. And if you do that, and then you turn around 180 degrees, and run forwards, you should run directly into the stash. It's just off to my right-hand side. Just there. So, onto the next stash now. I'm going to back away and turn left 90 degrees. I'm going to continue to go along the back wall because this is a pretty easy way to find it. I don't necessarily recommend taking the back wall. You can run along that dip. It offers you a bit more cover. Um, but being along this back wall does make it easier to, to find. And you're a bit further away from the mall as well. So note there's another duffel bag just there that you can loot. And just come down from the, uh, the top there. Basically what we want to do is we want to find these two cranes. The huge cranes that are there to lift uh, containers. These shipping containers. And there's two of them. One there. And then one just to the right here. This one here, we want to line up so that we cannot see it behind this tree. Okay? Do you see it? Now you don't. Now you see it? Now you don't. Okay, so it needs to be directly behind this tree. And then once it is, you just walk forwards. He says confidently. It's actually, you walk, I walked over it. Look at that. I actually walked over it. Let me show you that again since uh, I messed it up a little bit. 
So you find the two cranes with the shipping containers on them. Or they are designed to lift shipping containers. The right hand one, as we are looking at them now, you put behind this tree in front of you. And then you just walk forwards and you're going to walk over the stash. It's literally on the ground right here. So you can do a similar thing if you're along the kind of uh, fence line. Basically just line up with this tree directly over the center of the, um, the, the, the crane. Turn around 180 degrees. I reckon it's about there. And then run back. And you should run directly over the stash. Here it is. So hopefully you found that stash okay. I'm going to move on to the next one now. So I'm going to face that crane again. I'm going to turn left. And I'm going to follow the, the back line of this grass here. And I want to keep going a little bit more. What I'm looking for is this road here. I want to line up this road with the sign the big mall sign directly down the middle of it okay and that's what i'm looking for once i find that i'm going to walk forwards this is a better picture you should be able to see the stash now right there i'm just going to continue kind of showing you so we've got this road right here with the sign directly down the middle of it and then we get to the tree we turn left and there is the stash let's run through that again so no matter which direction you're coming from, you can kind of come to the back here. Um, and, you know, you can come from that area there or you can come from that direction. But the main thing to do is get to the back here, line up the road in the center of that road, put the sign, walk towards it. And the first bare trunked tree on your left hand side, this one here, when you reach that, stop. Turn left, and you should see the barrel stash right here. If you're coming from the opposite direction, I will give you a bearing off this uh, lamppost here. So there is a stash just in there that we're going to go to next. So you might be coming from this direction. You might come just down this road. You'll see the van that's kind of crashed through the barrier off the road. And then there's a lamppost right here. So I'm going to give you a bearing from that lamppost. It's basically directly ahead. So the bearing is pretty much zero. Oh, I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> the bearing is actually 150 degrees on the north um, compass pointer there. Almost directly south. And not directly north. As I was going to make the mistake. And you just run towards the tree. Just to the right this time. We'll see the stash. Okay, I'll just show you that again. So. We've got the lamppost here. The crashed van. I'm going to stand just to the right hand side of this lamppost. And the bearing on your compass will be 150 to 155 degrees on that north pointer there. And there is the stash. So onto the next stash, like I said, it is in the little roundabout that that sign is located in. So we're going to head directly towards it. So when you get to this sign, I basically want you to come to the front of the sign and face them all. And look at the tree right in front of you. It's this simple. It is really simple. Head towards the tree and just the other side of it is the barrel stash. Okay, so no matter where, what direction you come from, this is the easiest to find because there's a massive huge sign. You just head for the sign. Okay, you get to the front of the sign. And you face them all. Because if you get to the front this way, you can't face them all, you see. You're facing down the road. So you have to come to the front of the sign to face them all. And look at the tree. 
Go to the other side of the tree. And there is the stash. If you're really, really struggling, you'll notice on this roundabout, there is only one tree. Okay, so you, you can't miss this tree. There's no other tree on this roundabout. So if you're really struggling to get the right direction, then just find the only tree on the roundabout. Just circle the tree until you find it. Circle it with your gun in the air firing shots. <laughs> like you're a scav at Christmas. <laughs> so anyway, there is the stash right there. It's a very easy one to find. Off to the next stash now. I'm going to turn... Um, I'm going to face the mall, okay? And then turn left 90 degrees. I'm going to head down the road. Now, this is not necessarily the route I'm taking. I would normally take... I'm just making this easy for you to find. So, you get to the bus. Go to the front of the bus. The front corner. And just keep going. Okay, and get yourself in line with the sofa in the distance and this sign. So once you're in line with those, you want to turn to the right. You've got one, two trees. I want you to go through these two trees. You don't even need to go through them. Here is the stash. So if you are coming from a different direction, mostly you're going to be coming from scav camp direction. So I'll show you that now. So scav camp, the scav exit is in that area just in there. And down that road there is the highway to the railway exit. So if you are coming from scav camp, you're likely running in this direction. What I want you to do is run until you see one of two things. You either see these concrete gates covering the road. Okay. Or this sign and the sofa off to your left hand side when you see either of those you just go the other side of these concrete gates turn left immediately so when you get into this position here you've got the the sign on your left with the sofa you might want to just check the loot on this sofa because sometimes there's some good items that can spawn here um You've got the sign on your left with the sofa. And if you turn right, about 30 degrees, you've got one, two, three trees. I want you to head towards that front tree. When you reach that tree, I want you to turn... I want you to just go past that tree to the next tree. And then turn right. And you cannot fail to see this stash. It's right there. <laughs> okay, I'm going to run through that again because I don't think I made it the absolute best description. So if you're coming from Scav Camp, which is over in that direction, you kind of kind of run through these concrete gates here. If you do see the sign off to your left, that's another indication. So just come through the concrete gates and immediately turn left. Once you do that, you've got the sign to your left, and you've got three trees to the right. One, two, three. Run to that front tree. Once you get to that front tree, run to the next tree behind it. Once you get to that tree, turn right pretty much 90 degrees. You cannot fail to see the stash. It's right here. So from here, we're going to head off to the next stash. I'm going to run back to the highway, and I'm going to run along the highway. Just in here is the scav exit, the scav camp. Just so you're, a, you're aware of where I am. I'm just going to take this time to point out the pink suitcase on my left. You can loot these pink suitcases and they received a recent buff to the items that are in it. So it might be worth, if you see these on interchange, just... Giving them a quick loot. We're going to continue down the highway. Until we reach kind of the end of the blue fence on your left hand side. You've got a digger just ahead. Is it a digger? Tractor? 
I guess it's a tractor. A tractor just to add behind that, you've got an actual digger. Um, so yeah, once this fence kind of runs out of space, the aim is to go over it. Okay, and ahead of you, you should see a lake. So we're just going to run down to that lake. Off to your left-hand side, you're going to see a, a gate with some train tracks going into it. Um, just so you have some bearings. And then you turn right 90 degrees and just come up the hill slightly. You might be able to see it just off to the right-hand side. There is the next stash. So like I said before, if you're coming from the direction that we were, you get to the end of this blue fence right here. You come over the other side and pointing straight ahead of you is going to be this lake or pond. Once you reach this pond, stop about here, turn right 90 degrees, head into the trees. And then once you hit this first tree, this one right here, stop. Turn right about 45 degrees and you've got the stash right here. Hopefully that's explained it well enough. We're going to head over to the next stash now. So what I want you to do is kind of get on top of the stash and then just walk forwards. And you virtually run into the next stash. So if you don't immediately find this stash, the easiest way to find it is find this little campsite here. There's some broken rubble along with a red kind of fuel container, um, like an oil tank container off to your left hand side as we look at it right now. Um, so that's an important reference as well. And we're going to go to that area in a minute. We'll find this little campsite. There's two little sleeping bags. If you find this, all you have to do is line yourself up with this log and then walk forwards and you're going to walk right past the stash right here so this one is probably one of the hardest to find but my most recommended way to find it is just find this campsite location line yourself up on top of this rock or on top of this log and then walk forwards and the stash will be just off to your right hand side. So just keep your eyes on the ground as you're walking. And you should just walk right past the stash. I think that's the best way to find this stash. We're on to the next one. So I think I referenced this um, pile of rubble here. And you've got two red oil tanker um, kind of train cars almost on there so you want to head for that rubble so you've got two sets of rubble you've got the first one here and then you've got a second one behind it with a bunch of bushes between the two we're going to go between them just like this the other side of this bushes we're going to come around and i'm trying to remember exactly where it is here it is. Here is the stash. It wasn't quite where I remembered it. But that's how you find it. You basically come through to the center. And then you just look along the line of this rubble. And then you will eventually see the stash. Just like so. There you go. Sometimes I have to kind of remember exactly where the, um, the stash is located. But if you're coming along from the other direction, it's actually a stash just up there. You might want to come along these train tracks until you see the one, two oil tankers. And then, like I say, just come along this side of the rubble and you'll see the stash just here. Hopefully you got that one. We're off to the next one. Like I just said, you might as well just, just back off from the stash. Turn left 90 degrees and head for the fence. Now, you're going to see um, some kind of graffiti on this fence panel. Once you reach here, come to the edge and then turn right. And follow the edge of the fence. Once you follow it, you get to a set of bushes. 
and the stash is just in here. So hopefully that was simple enough to explain. If you're coming from the opposite direction, just follow the fence. If you get to the panel with the degree with the graffiti on it, then you know you've gone too far. You get to this panel with the uh, T-Rex on the side in the graffiti, you know you've come too far. So turn around, turn to the right, turn back around, head along the fence until you get to the first set of bushes that you see. Once you get to that first set of bushes, head towards them and just along the back of these bushes is the stash. So heading to the next one now, we're going to back away until we hit the fence. I'm going to turn left 90 degrees and we're going to follow the line of the fence. We're going to follow that until we get to the next set of rubble. And then right here is the stash at the front of this rubble. Okay, so we run along the back wall, we get to the rubble and then right here is the stash. So if you do come from the opposite direction, um, the extract is right there. The railway um, extract. What's, what's the actual name? Yeah, railway exfil is right there. So sometimes you can spawn in this area. If you do, you basically just want to make your way to the fence. Worst case scenario, you literally find the corner of the map down there. The railway exfil on my right. Worst case scenario, find the corner of the map, run all the way along the fence and just keep going along this fence. And the first set of rubble that you find is going to be the stash. So you find this set of rubble, you just go the other side of it, turn to the left and there is the stash. So we're going to head to the next stash now. It's a little bit of a distance. Uh, on the way, I'm just going to show you the railway exfil. I know you already know where it is, but I just want to uh, go to that location so that it's quite easy to see where we're coming from when we head to this next stash. So facing the railway exfil now, I'm just going to turn to my right and I'm going to run along this back wall here. And then we're going to have to cross the highway. It's quite a distance, so I'm going to speed up the video while I do it. So I've crossed the highway now, and I'm just going to continue along the back wall. Now, when you get into this kind of location here, if you turn to your right, you've got the, the highway that comes along and the stash is actually down in that rubbish pile there so that's where we're going to go so underneath the highway bridge just in this section of rubbish is the stash now you might need to crouch to get this stash and as you back away it's going to take you a little while before you can kind of stand up again but if you come in from a different direction just locate if this is on the way to the exit, just locate this first kind of unfinished highway section and find the, the rubbish or come right to the bottom of it so you can go underneath it, but you can't get any further. And you're going to find this stash. It's quite an easy one to find. Many people know where this stash is. From this one, I'm just going to turn around pretty much 180 degrees. And... I'm going to make my way to the red container on the road. Once I'm here, I'm going to turn left and I'm going to make my way to the yellow bus. Once I'm here, I'm going to turn right and I'm going to make my way to the blue fence. And just behind that, we've got the cabin. Once I get here, I'm just going to follow the blue fence around and you should be able to see it. Off to the right hand side, there is the barrel stash. It's just behind a set of bushes or in front in this picture. If you're coming from a different location, then the thing to look out for is this white cabin on the road. This white cabin here on the road. So just to our left, we've got the corner of the mall. This is the idea side of the mall, kind of 
tells you as well <laughs> um but yeah it's the blue and yellow kind of idea side the signs up there as well <laughs> uh, but yeah you want to look out for this cabin here on the uh well in front of us as we see and you just come come to this cabin come around the corner of this cabin follow the fence to your left you've got a set of bushes and come around the rear of those bushes and there is the stash so once we found that stash we're just going to back away and face in the direction of the mall i'm going to turn to the right 90 degrees and in front of us you should see a go-kart track okay go-kart track with loads of go-karts on it now there's a gap in the fence just here gap in the fence we're going to run through that gap in the fence but before we do we're going to aim off at these trees in the distance and this you can't you might not be able to see very well on your screen but in game you should be able to see better but there's about five trunks going off these trees and to the right there's a set of bushes okay so we're going to aim directly at those trees if i stand on the stash the actual um compass bearing is 180 degrees off the north pointer okay so that's where we're heading so we run through the gap in the fence cross the go-kart track head for the tree with all of the trunks coming out of it you should see better now one two three four five six trunks coming out of it and then to our right hand side should be the stash just there so i'm just going to run through that again just so you know so you find the previous stash stand on it look through the gap in the fence just there find the trees with about five or six trunks should be a set of bushes to the right hand side and if you check your compass it's going to be 180 degrees slightly off there so 180 185 yeah 180 degrees and then run towards those trees through the gap in the fence over the go-kart track i guess you don't have to jump through the trees and then as you get through the trees just on your right hand side is the stash right here so from this stash what we're actually going to do is trace our steps back to the previous stash okay there it is and then we're going to come along the side of the cabin and we're going to head to the road we're going to cross the road i'm going to head right to the back of this section of land there is a sign on this huge section of land just here Once you get to the back of this section of land, what we're looking for are these rocks, okay? So these are the rocks that I want you to find. When you find these rocks, you're going to notice there's two sets of them. There's a big one here, and there's another big one here. And if you set yourself up like I am, between these two rocks, you have your barrel stash. Right here. So if you're coming from a different direction, honestly, the best way, if you're coming from the power station, which is just over there, you're going to have to come in front of that fence. And I'll show you that in a minute. So the best set way is just to run all the way to the back of this section of land. And you'll be coming sort of along here and find the two rocks on your left hand side and then run to the center of those two rocks. And you can't really miss this stash. It's quite an easy one to find. So we're off to our very last stash now. No, actually, there's two more, two more stashes, and they're both at the power station. So I'm going to back away from this stash. I'm going to turn left 90 degrees, and I'm going to run to the fence. Now, you can't cross through this area into the power sta uh, station. You have to kind of go around the front a little bit. But there is this sort of recess section here, and just in here, you've got a weapon box so don't forget this one you can treat it almost like a, a separate hidden stash and i don't think many people know about this weapon box so you can kind of treat it as a, another hidden stash there so we're gonna have to make our way to the road there's no way through that section like i've said before and we're just going to come along the front 
of this concrete wall. You can just sort of, you know, run along this area here. You are a little bit exposed here on the la on the right hand side. Sorry, um, you have got the entrance to the underground area there. So just be careful. Uh, don't rest on your laurels. Just be careful. So we're going to run this section here. So if we come to the front of the power station, just be aware that inside of there, there is the lever to turn on the power. So you could get squads, you could get chads, you could get anyone coming down here to turn the power on to the power station. So if you come to the front door of the power station, as you see it now, turn left, come to the edge of the power station, turn, uh, continue on to the metal stairs over the yellow pipe. Cross those metal stairs. Right ahead of us, we've got the car extract. Just so you're aware. Turn to your left. Go behind this uh, brown trailer. And you locate the next set of metal stairs. Do not take those metal stairs, but turn to your left. You've got like a white cabin just here. And at the base of the yellow pipes, in front of this white cabin, you've got your stash. Hopefully that's explained that well enough. I'm just going to show you from another direction as well. What you can do is locate this vehicle extract at the power station. Another way is to locate the office door at the power station. Inside there, there's some high value uh, GPU spawns or high value tech spawns. There's a couple of computers and a filing cabinet just inside there as well. So if you get yourself into this position, you face the vehicle extract, turn around 180 degrees and find the yellow pipe with the metal stairs and run towards it. Do not cross those, uh, those metal stairs. Turn right. You find another yellow pipe with some metal stairs and you head towards that. Now do not cross the metal pipe. Turn to your left and you've got the white cabin here with the stash at the base of the yellow pipe in front of that white cabin. So we're going to the very last stash now, and we're going to turn around. We're going to head back to that vehicle extract. Okay, so if you set yourself up in front of this vehicle extract, and then if you run past it to the fence, and then follow the, the fence around the back of the fire station. Fire station? Power station. So you follow the fence along the back of the power station until it hits the corner with this blue fence. Okay, and then you follow this blue fence until there's the gap in the blue fence. Turn left around that gap and there's loads of bushes ahead of you. Now, the really easy way is to just push through these bushes. Um, but you can go around them. Obviously, I don't recommend that you really do that if you're on a natural in-game raid because you make loads of noise. Find your way to this concrete fence here. And then just turn around 180 degrees. You might have already seen it. To the left, there is the stash. Okay, so it's at the corner of the blue fence and the concrete fence. A set of bushes. And here is the stash. If you want to find that from a different route, if you're not necessarily in the power station at the time, perhaps you're on the road up to the power station. And this is the picture of the power station that you'll have. Turn to the right, and you've got this recessed area with the blue fence on your left-hand side. Come around to the back of this recessed area, and obviously the stash is behind these bushes here. At the corner of the concrete and the blue fence. That is the very last stash that I have got to show you today on Interchange. Hopefully you've found them all easy to find. Any issues, let me know down below in the comments. If you're really struggling to find these stashes, then jump into my Discord. You can ask me personally. And worst case scenario, I will come into a raid and I will escort you around and, and help you find those stashes. But I think you're going to be okay after watching this video. Check out my other stash guides. If you found this useful, hit the like button. And also remember to subscribe. Thanks very much.